so yeah, sorry. I've noticed that over the years being in Australia, that there are different types of Asian kids, you know. Well, any ethnic culture really, but we'll focus on Asians because I'm Asian. Duh. Yeah, one thing difference from certain Asian kids, you know, where they were born. You know, there were ones that were born in a uh, Western country like Australia or America, um, or the ones that migrated with their parents there. Well, okay, maybe the second one needs a subcategory, you know, ones that migrated with their parents when they were a bit younger or where they're a bit older. You know, because each type of kid that gets a different response from adults each time. You know, I'm the older immigrant kid and I came to Australia when I was, what, eight? So the Filipino culture was pretty much established, so to speak. You know, I always say po and opo when you're talking to adults. You know, I have to be polite, that kind of stuff. You know, it meant that I could also speak the naked, the native, naked, native language well, which, you know, Tagalog. You know, my sister uh, was an immigrant kid who was too young for the Asian culture to sit in. You know, she came here when she was around four-ish. So when she got older, she didn't know how to speak Tagalog properly or at all, like now. But now she can understand Tagalog most, cause, you know, because my parents, they talk Tagalog at home. Uh, but she responds in English, so she knows the culture from our parents, but that's it. My brother, however, is the first generation to be born here, uh, in our family anyway. And so he's he was the first one to become an Australian citizen. Because, yeah, he was born here. Therefore, being the Phil Oz kid, you know, he's still small, which means he can't say much Tagalog. But he's an English speaker. My parents mainly talk to him in English, but sometimes in Tagalog if it gets too hard for them to uh, translate because they're still fobs. I don't know why. Ten years and they still can't speak properly English. No, well, the thing is, right? There's also there's always this situation where if any of your parents, parents is friends, you know, the ones that migrated, um, know that you speak their native language, you know, like their co-Filipinos, you automatically become like the best kid they know, or until the next one comes in, you know. If you can't, they're all like, what? You don't speak Filipino? You know, you should learn the language. You're a Filipino. Be proud. You have to be proud. Your parents hear that and then they start to agree with it and then BAM! You're enrolled to the next Tagalog class at some language school learning the Filipino alphabet. Not that I've experienced it, you know. I'm, I'm the immigrant kid, remember? Well, I gotta admit, it's not bad. I mean, but your parents start to show you off to their friends when it starts happening. You know, the whole... Oi, Musta, this is my son, Luis. Luis, say hello. Magandang hapon po. Ah, kamusta na po kayo? Oh my gosh, anak ng toko, nagtatagalog pa pala to. Galing niya magtagalog ah. Okay to ah, galing niya magtagalog. Good boy. You know, my son has a YouTube. You can go to his site, you know. It's a very funny videos. Aba, aktor pa pala to ah. Wow, si sikat ka. Punta ka sa Pilipinas, maging aktor ka. Ah. So yeah, that's just like a little snippet of you know in being a Filipino kid. I mean, there's heaps more that you can, you know, about being a Filipino kid. But there's tons of videos everywhere on YouTube about that. So I don't know if there isn't, tell me about it and I might do it. You know. But yeah. That's it from me. Peace out, guys. Oh, 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 sorry. Um, I actually had heaps more uh, ideas on me in a video. So this is actually part one. There's a part two. And if you click here. Oh, check that out. Making use of the annotations. Um, you'll go uh, to the next video. Go check it out. Peace, guys. Peace, guys.